and gentlemen, Comic Impact. I am Matt Todd and I'm here talking to Joshua Helfialkov. Josh, how you doing? I'm doing very well, thank you. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. This has been... Uh, we should just have small talk. We should just do... How's the weather? How's the weather? I think the weather's delightful. It is delightful. In I find it. It is. You know, it's nice because we get that uh, we get the ocean breeze. Uh, it's a nice cool ocean breeze. Fantastic. It's snowing on the East Coast. Yeah, see? So, uh, we're, we're already winning. Yeah, we win. Sorry, guys. You do have all that culture, though. They do have one. So, this has been a bit of a busy month for you. Yeah, it has. Tell me about it. You've got The Last of the Greats with uh, the second issue is hitting this week, correct? That's right. That's correct. Very excited to uh, pick that up. We've also got the second issue of I, Vampire, which is personally one of my favorites of the DC's New 52. Thank you. So, what, um, and you just announced the uh, Doctor Who. That's right. I'm taking over uh, the ongoing Doctor Who uh, for at least four issues, I think, uh, unless I screw it up. Can you tell us a little bit about the project? Or? Yeah, Doctor Who is uh, it's set in 1941 in Casablanca. Uh, the Doctor uh, goes for an nice seaside trip and gets the year wrong. Oops. And uh, unfortunately, Nazis and seaside vacations do not mix. Um, and to make things worse, um, it turns out that uh, the guy, the good guys, uh, are not quite as good as it seems. Uh, so it sounds like it's got a good, nice Doctor Who noir. Uh -oh. Yeah, I really, I wanted to do, um, I wanted to do sort of a fun, like a fun light Doctor Who noir. Because I feel like you haven't seen that. No, you haven't. Um, you haven't seen it in a while, and, and it's, uh, it's what I do well. So if I'm gonna have to write, if I'm gonna have to write my absolute favorite character in the world and not screw it up, I figured I should try and stack the deck in my favor. That's that, awesome. that sounds like a plan. That sounds like a good plan. Now, I Vampire, two issues in, we've really got uh, introduced to Mary Queen of Blood. Uh, what, uh, what else have we got coming up in the title? We've got issue three, uh, issue three we meet our supporting cast, um, including he has sort of a sidekick who uh, is quite a bit older than him, uh, or appears quite a bit older than him at least. Um, so we meet his sidekick and then uh, we got another new character who's going to join the school to so speak. Um, issue four is uh, Andrew versus John Constantine. Oh, that sounds great. Yeah, it's really fun. I actually just did the letter approved for that last, like, two nights ago. Um, and it is so much fun. Like, it turns out I really, 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 really love writing John Thompson. Go, sir. You He's a fun character. He is. He's great. He's because his attitude is so. And, and putting him against Andrew, who Andrew is sort of uh, is serious and really like he's driven by what he's doing. Whereas Constantine has this sort of flippant, you know, Double fun character. Like yeah. Exactly. Now, the one thing I really enjoyed about the first two issues of My Empire is that they were, they were incredibly character focused. And I thought the first issue, you know, while you had this amazing, you know, vampire battle and, and it was still, it was a breakup, it was a breakup story. So, and I really just thought that was just incredibly well handled and uh, really, really enjoying the series. Yeah, look, I think that um, getting to the root of a character means figuring out what they love. Um, and so when it just so happens that your plot is driven by what they love, yes. uh, it really makes life easy. And so writing the relationship between these two characters is just such a driving force for everything I do. And then using that to kind of counterpoint the violence and the actual horror of the book, just, it really works for me. It's really, it's really, really fun to do. And it's something that, you know, to me, they're they're sort of co-leads in the book. Absolutely. Um, and Mary, Mary is in the series. She's in almost every issue. Um, and if not in an issue, her presence is definitely felt. Yeah, I, I really liked the, the, I really like the uh, way that you're kind of using, uh, new, finding new ways to use vampire powers, and then the second way you're having them kind of mystify and, you know, battle, really having fun playing with vampires that we haven't seen before. Well, like, I wanted to use the Dracula, you know, the Bram Stoker's Dracula power set, but then you have to apply it to the superhero world. Yeah. And you realize, like, those powers work really well. Like, it's yeah. visually really exciting. Having them transform into all their different forms gives us the sort of variety of combat. Yeah. yeah. They really, for me, really, really work. And so with John Constantine coming into the book, we're, we're, we're starting to see the book kind of get closer into the, the DC universe. We do. Really five and, itself. Five and six uh, Batman shows up. Oh, and we get to see, uh, we get to see sort of our first true cake uh, experience what's going on in this vampire apocalypse. Uh, 
and you know we get to we're gonna start exploring more and more of that stuff. To me, that's that's sort of the you know secondary everything going on, but it's still a big big part of the story. Is dealing with the DC universe and how you know how the cockroaches are starting to overrun. The world. I, but I like you know the intimacy of the book. They right? said so even like the, the first issue, you know, some other books were sort of waiting five or six issues to get to that conversation. This is hit the ground running. Yeah, look, I, I think you start, you know, a series. A series should always be about uh, the first day of something, right? Like, so it should always be about the transition from the old to the new, because that's your new status quo. So we have to establish how things were before and then run as fast as possible into the new. Um, and I write. You know, coming from indie comics, like I've been trained by like, ten years of doing this, that you always hit the ground running. Like, yes. You never wait. You always do everything you can to drive story as fast and strongly as possible, because that's how you hook people and that's how you keep people. That's great. And also at Long Beach Comic Con, you guys are actually doing a writing seminar. I am. Now, how did how did that come about? Was that uh, something that the convention approached you with, or did that something you just wanted? It was it was a little bit of both. You know, I talked to I talked to Martha at the convention uh, about doing something. Last year, or at the actually the show halfway through the There's one day show, yeah. um, and while we were talking, I thought to myself, you know, who's way more confident and better than me, who I have friends with, and that is Mark. Wade. Um, and plus, Mark and I have uh, we have opposite trajectories. Um, he started as an editor, yeah, working at DC, and, very and then moved into being a freelancer, working predominantly for the big two before moving into the Indies. Um, and I do this, but I actually this. <laughs> Um, whereas I started in like web comics and like the low, like literally like the easiest sort of like lowest audience, um, and have worked my way up through the ranks of indies into uh, into mainstream comics. And so we, we between the two of us, we've sort of worked for everybody and worked uh, worked in any way possible on every type of project. So it's, sort of, it's a nice combination. And uh, and I love it. It's a sweet yeah. And what and what are you guys really hoping to, to do in, in the seminar? Are you really hoping to? You know, we want we want to give people we want to give people some you know just insight into what we do and why how we've each managed to find our niches and, and sort of you know guide people in terms of story and in terms of the market and all that stuff. So we're gonna you know we want to see a lot of the idea for us is to see what you guys want to learn, yeah. what you guys want to hear about. And, and I like I said I'm actually taking the class and I'm really looking forward to checking it out. And hopefully we'll see more seminars featuring you and Mr. Wade. I'm hoping it's a success that I enjoy. Thank, thank you very much. But, uh, well, Josh, thank you so much. For thank you. Time. Also, Last of the Greats. Yes, Last, Last of the Greats. Greats. Number two Please. hits this week. It's awesome. Yeah. It is. It's really it's great. Really, really awesome. Please pre-order pre -order your comics. If you don't pre-order, then they don't show up. Um, it's unfortunate. It's a horrible system. But it's, 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 it's solid sound advice. Yeah. But, Josh, thanks again so much. Thank you Appreciate so much. It. Always a pleasure. Take care, man.